for hour for part two. I've gone ahead and I've got my um, additional two additional tracks, my X and my Z. You can see I put a little bump height, a little bump map on them. Um, looks kind of nice. Probably hard to see in the video. And now let's go ahead and make them both 3D. So I'm going to go and do the X first, 3D source alpha. I'm going to pop over to my track motion. And now I'm going to go to my rotation. And right now I'm doing the X axis. So I'm going to start it at zero. I want to add a keyframe right at the end. So I'm just kind of getting to the end there. There it is. Zoom up on it. I think I ended at around seven. There it is. Add a keyframe there. Zoom out. So at the keyframe at the end, I want the X axis to be all the way up to 360. So it goes, comes back to where it started. So it's zero here, and then we can kind of watch it. And you can watch this picture here, kind of preview what it's going to look like. See how, the, how it's rotating around the X axis? You can see it kind of spinning like it was in a shooting gear, and you hit it. You can also see the Y spinning. I should have turned that track off so it doesn't confuse you. Um, so that's that's the X, and now come down to the Z. And we can pull that down a little bit too if we want to see the keyframes I just added, the position track. Let's see, there they are right there. Can we move that a little bit? So now in the Z, I've got a first, oops, wrong track. I've got to make this 3D. So go to my compositing mode. I don't see it right now because I, I just made this too skinny. So there it goes. I stretch it out a little bit. 3D, track motion. Now this time I'm going to change the Z setting. I need to add a keyframe somewhere down there. And now at the very end, here I am at the very end of the of the track, I want to make that Z go 360 degrees. And at the beginning, of course, it should be at zero, which it is. So now the Z is going to go around 360 times. Um, and just to get a preview of that, you can kind of imagine as it spins here, the Z axis is right where my mouse is, it's coming straight at your nose. And that's why it spins around that. It really doesn't look 3D in that a sense because it looks like you're just rotating it clockwise, which is what it is doing. Um, so now you have them all. There's the, your X is doing its thing. Your Y is doing its thing, and the Z is doing its thing. You got them all three rotating around. And we also give a little bump map deal going. So now that's good to go. Um, so what you want to do f to get your credit is let's render this. And this is just a quick little project, so we don't need to make it all super fancy. I'm just going to go into Windows Media, which is already selected. Go to my custom settings, and I'm just going to choose... Um, Something small. How about uh, image size? How about animation? Actually, I, it's a lot easier, I think, if you go into templates. Yeah, just go into like 256 or 512. 512 is fine. Um, and then you can give it a name, of course. I'm going to call it Richter 3D Intro. And then you can render that out. I'll pause it and we'll see what we get when we're done. Okay, mine finished, and I'm working on a pretty fast computer, and notice it took oh, about a minute and a half almost, and if you recall, we only had like seven seconds of video. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing 3D stuff. Um, it can be some serious rendering time, so you want to be kind of judici judicious with your use of, um, of where you want to do the 3D. And I think it may have bumped up the time also because we did all three axes. Um, so... I'm going to open my folder up and see what that file looked like that I made. The end result, X, Y, Z, no, what did I call that? Ah, I don't even keep track of where I put it. It's not good. Well, anyways, it's in there somewhere. A oh, Richter 3D intro. There it is. And notice the file size is pretty small. It's only 512. It's playing on the wrong screen get over there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It chops to you guys, but it'll play out fine. So now that it's all set, you want to go ahead and copy and paste that into the L drive, and then you're ready to start your your next one, which is going to be, you're going to do an intro um, using that 3D now that you know how to do it, and I'll add a couple other effects for it, so have a sweet little intro with some, with some sound. 
So I'll meet you um, on that video in just a minute.